7 verse through the 14, Paul tells us something. He says, for though by this time you ought to be teachers because of the time you have had to learn these truths. Right. How long you been going to church? son? By now you should be the teacher. But something has happened that you are dull and sluggish and unable to spiritually hear. That's what he's saying. By now you should be the teacher. By now you should be the light unto the world. By now you should be the salt to the world. But something has happened. He says, but no, you can't. Why? Because you actually now need someone to teach you again the elementary principles of God's word from the beginning. Why? Because something happened that what? Arrested your, your development. The adversary was able to infiltrate and arrest your development in God. Why? Because you've been consumed with the world. You dominated by all the world things. You know all about the world, but you ain't what? Feed in your spirit. Your spirit don't got a healthy diet. What you eating ain't feeding your spirit for you to be spiritually strong and sound and maturing in your word and your relationship with Christ. So that guess what? Now you can be teaching somebody else. You could be the light to somebody else at 15. You could be the light to somebody else at nine years old. You could be the light to somebody else right now. But what is he saying? You are dominated by your flesh. And he says, now you need to what? Go learn all over again. He says, you have come to be continually in need of milk. Now, what you think would happen to a baby if it never matured to solid food? If a child was born and was could not eat, wasn't drinking nothing but that, that milk off his mama's titty or the Similac, what do you think will happen? It's going to be, it's not going to develop properly. It needs those vitamins. It needs those, it needs that. What do you think happening to you spiritually if you don't mature in Christ? You don't grow. And guess what? You stay, what he said, what happens is you become dull and sluggish spiritually. You become spiritually blind. He says your hearing becomes dull. He's not talking about your ability to hear people talk. He's talking about that when they say words, I can hear the truth in my spirit. That's why you walk into rooms and you get to see because your spirit is dark. It's deaf. It's blind. It cannot see. It's not activated. It doesn't have no nourishment or nothing to, to, to stimulate it, to animate it. So now you walk right into traps. You want you friends with devils because you can't see past the flesh. That's what the Bible trying to tell. That's what Paul saying. And you get mad because of what happens when the, everything plays out and you done been hurt. You done been betrayed. You broken. You defeated. You can't seem to get past these stages in life. Your life keep falling apart. But that's because you are spiritually dead. That's what he said. And you lack the ability, even though you've been saying you believe in God, even though you've been saying you go going to church, but you're still you're going to church and you're going to the club. So you can't grow. You're going to the church, but you at the Sunday brunch drinking mimosas. That's why you can't grow. You at church, but then you Netflix and chilling. That's why you can't grow. You're going to have to make a decision. So he says, you stay needing milk where you should now be the teacher. You can't, he said, matter of fact, you so messed up now, right? Your thinking has been so warped and influenced with all these different Jesus, with all these different spirits, with all these different gospel coming into your life, right? So now you the Christian and I'm gay. Cause you're jacked up. Now you the Christian and you trans. Now you the Christian and you a new age. You got sage. You got crystals, right? You're working witchcraft, but you say you believe in God. What happened to you? Well, you dysfunctional. Cause you ain't have a proper spiritual diet that led you to true growth and maturity and to truly knowing who Christ is. He says, so now we need to, you really, you need to start all over again. He says, you have come to be continually in need of milk and not solid food. And here's part of the problem. So now 